What's good, y'all? It's your girl Tiana. I call it me, and I'm coming at you with a video for, with a recipe for today. So today, what we're gonna be making is a meatloaf, cabbage, wild rice, and cornbread. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is a live cook along with me. Well, cook with me, watch me cook, whatever. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be quite lengthy just to let you know that. All right, so you'll be prepared for that. Um, I also have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. That is B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. That's why I put my cleaning video or organization and decorate. So I thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let's jump right on into it. Looking a little foggy. Yeah, thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. What's good, family? What's good? Hey, Tika, Rochelle, Nene, 60, Miss Marsha, Big Baby, Wanda, y'all all up in here. What's up? Nick, Nick, Nikki, Miss Angela, Renee, hey, uh, Kia, what's up, y'all? All right, y'all. So, if y'all want here when I first jump right on in and was telling what I'm gonna be making today what I am going to be making is um meatloaf wild rice cabbage and cornbread this is what I was supposed to cook for y'all while I was on vacation right so I happened to not even do it um because my husband he was like don't even worry about cooking all that food we'll eat something quick so I'm gonna be doing that with y'all today yes on a Wednesday what today Wednesday right yeah I think it is. Yeah. Hey, Beatrice. Hey, Brown's Eye Vision. So, yeah, y'all, we finna go on, jump right on into this. It was, oh, girl, it was lovely. I'm actually saving a video right now. I'm hoping to get it posted for y'all on Friday. Pay. You gonna pay Friday for your membership? Okay, Tika, because I got something coming up for y'all members only. Um, It's gonna be coming up. Woo! This yeah, this weekend, this weekend I'm gonna try to post it for y'all if y'all remember y'all if I remember I'm gonna try to post it for y'all ahead of time but we're gonna do us a sip and paint again this Saturday. So yeah, I'm aiming for I'm I'm aiming for Saturday. If it's if it's sooner than Saturday, I will definitely let y'all know. But we got our simple paint coming up. Y'all know this gonna be the last one for this month, so most definitely y'all be ready for that. If y'all gonna attend the sip and paint, and uh, I don't know if my family gonna come, we do it together this time, or it's just gonna be me and y'all. However, it don't matter. But we still gonna do our thug bills. You already know. You look well rested after vacation, girl. I am, I am. But I was, I try. I got me some sleep uh, when I got home. Okay, and I slept pretty good last night. I did. I enjoyed myself yesterday. Mm-hmm. I showed sure it. Hey, uh, Lisa. I know I didn't. Say. Hey, Emma, Ava, Lean. Who who done joined the family? Hey, Miss Glow, Miss Glow, don't join the Sugar Boo crew. Yeah, Miss Glow is a Sugar Boo. Hey, Miss Glow is a Sugar Boo. Hey, Miss Glow is a Sugar Boo. Hey, Miss Glow is a Sugar Boo. Welcome to the Sugar Boo crew, Miss Miss Glow. Girl, you just made my moment just then, girl. <laughs> All right, so yeah, yeah, that's what we about to cook. Y'all ring the doorbell. It's 39 of y'all in here. 15 of y'all ring the doorbell. If you're one of the ones that did not ring the doorbell, please ring the doorbell for you, girl, one time for the one time. Go on and get your uh, drink. Go on and sit down and kick your feet up. Get comfortable. Try this. Go uh, on and get comfortable. Y'all already know. Listen, this is a live cooking vlog. I don't do cooking shows. So, what's up, Jane, though? So, y'all going to get comfortable. I know y'all ain't got nothing to do. Some of y'all getting off work on the way home, honey. Don't get in no accident, honey. I pray that you make it to your destination safely. To and from wherever it is that you're going. I pray that you make it there safely. Hey, Miss Janice to and T. Johnson and from y'all destination safely, honey. So, y'all can watch me. Okay. <laughs> we'll need for you to be out there. Girl, I see them. Girl, I check with the cream got light on and she don't came on. Y'all better get home safe, okay? All right. So, 
<laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go and get into it. I'm doing good. And yourself, you heard your welcome. Hey, Andrea. All right, now, Tika is a sugar boo. Hey, Tika is a sugar boo. Hey, Tika is a sugar boo. Hey, welcome back to the sugar boos. Welcome back, Tika, to the sugar boo crew, girl. Girl, I, you had me rolling and went to walk. Girl, listen, girl. I have my own stuff rolling. I don't know how many times I look at, looked at that video, girl. I don't know how many times I have my own self rolling. I say, God dang, I see why they don't be want to go to the store with me. <laughs> I see why now he don't want to go to the store with me. Child, I be trying to get a deal, don't I? Woo! Girl, I'm so worrisome. But it don't make no listen, it don't make no sense, but your sugar will be chat be saving now. I, listen, you gotta give me that now. You gotta give <laughs> You gotta give me that, okay. You got to give me my props on. I'll be saving and getting them deals. Okay, honey. <laughs> Look. Had folks in the comments. They over there. Oh, child, Barbie. Barbie knows she need to be shaming herself. But what was wrong with her? I hope she come on up in here while I'm talking about her. What was wrong with your Barbie is you was sitting there trying to shop for me. Let me go and get my shop on. God dang. Go on and get that right there and move and put that back so you can get girl. Let me handle it. Okay. Girl, you can find some deals. Miss Marsha, listen, no prices they speak to me. Okay. Got this thing. Listen, yeah, and then what's the name gonna say? Oh. Uh, I ain't know what she was talking about when she talking about stimmy, talking about stimmy cool again. <laughs> Talk about stimmy cooler gang. I, I ain't in the stimmy park, but the cooler gang. Oh, yes, babe. You better know. Girl, penny pension saving, honey. A penny saved is a penny earned. You better know it, uh, Jane, though. Honey, I am a penny pincher. Okay. Waist snatcher. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing by the way snatch part, but y'all get the drift. Okay, honey, I don't play. How long did I sell? Four days and three nights. I enjoy myself. Y'all gonna see that video on Friday, though. I got the video coming for y'all. Y'all watch the whole video, okay? Watch the whole video because I had a special guest in my video, and I had promised her that I was going to let her be in my vlog. So I want y'all to show my special guest a warm welcome and y'all, uh, you know, when y'all see her and stuff in the video. All right. What's for dinner today? Okay. So we making some meatloaf, wild rice, cornbread, cabbage for dinner. That's what we having. I know a Sunday dinner on the Wednesday, baby, but we is hungry. He go back on tell me, tell him something, baby, what you cooking? I say, why you hungry? <laughs> why are you hungry? He told me, what you cooking? I said, I told him what I was cooking. He said, oh, okay then. I said, what that supposed to mean? What you going to go buy you something or something? You know, no, I just knew you was going to cook something. Okay. What are you trying to say though? Here he go. Tell me something. I'm sure I ain't gonna be on the game long tonight. I'm just going on. I got about eight more games for. I, I know this don't matter to y'all, but I'm just telling y'all. I'm finna get to a point, okay? He was like, I'm, I only got about eight more games for. I come elite two, and I ain't gonna be on there that long tonight. I'm going to bed early, so that means that he want him a good hot meal, baby. I got you, boo. I got you. If that's what you want, I got you a good hot meal so you get your ass off that game early and go right on the bed, lay on down with me. Honey. Honey, and we just know together, okay? <laughs> That's what he want to do, y'all. He, he want to get him some good rest, child. He, honey, he ain't played that game that whole vacation, y'all. <laughs> so he had been trying to catch up since we, girl, for one French fry, girl, you want to get me cussed out too, Jane, though. Jane, though, don't do me now. God dang, because I might be coming to move in with you if I do that today. <laughs> you better have an extra, uh, and I want my own bed. Since you trying to get me divorced, honey. And grandma coming with me, too. 
So you might as well have two spare bedrooms because she ain't sleeping with me. Unless she gonna sleep with you. <laughs> but she ain't sleeping with me because she said I snow too much and move too much in my sleep. So you don't have to uh slide on over, Jane, though. You and your husband if you got one, okay? All right. So, y'all, let's go and get into it because I know some folks going to come by this channel and be like, God dang, this girl knows she over here running her mouth. This supposed to be a cooking show. I, you wrong. You is wrong. Bring your pillows. I got that. I got that. Okay. Listen, long as I ain't going on the floor, I got my pillows. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I forgot what the hell I was just saying, but yeah, uh, oh, you wrong. This ain't no cooking show. This is a cooking vlog, y'all, okay? And I ain't gonna be doing all that cussing today, y'all, because I, yesterday, yesterday, honey, I was cussing up some, so I gotta be a little, a little saint today, y'all, okay? <laughs> ah, y'all, I gotta be a saint today, y'all, because they ain't give me no commercials yesterday, so I ain't fooling with y'all, Okay? I ain't fooling with y'all. I ain't saying all them cuss words today. Okay. Y'all better read in between the S's and then all of, all of them. All right. All right, then. Look, I ain't know what the cussing did, but now I know, honey. They ain't give me no come. They ain't give me none, y'all, yesterday. Honey, I'll say what in the world? Well, I get it, girl. It came from Ross, girl. It came from Ross, and I love it. Thank you, boo. But anyway, all right, y'all. So, come on, let's let's get to cooking. Hey, Sonya. All right, I done cut up enough for y'all now. God dang. Hey, divine wisdom. You love it. I'm glad you do. On me, you know, they can't get that too regular. I don't care. I got to be me. That's the only way I be comfortable with this thing. But honey, it takes a lot to get on and put on a show for all of y'all. And somebody ain't ringing a doorbell. Who ain't ringing a doorbell? That's the thought. Put the ding on the door and ring the doorbell. Put the ding on the door and ring the doorbell. Put the ding on the door and ring the doorbell. Put the ding on the door and ring the doorbell. If y'all don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the father, 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 father. One time, I'll sing you the deal if you don't mind. Getting a doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind, ring getting a doorbell. Hey, ring getting a doorbell. Hey, ring getting a doorbell for your girl one more time. Just one more time. If you don't mind, ring getting a doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. And why y'all sitting over there I'm like, God dang, who is this girl? Who is she? Where did I done clicked on here, huh? I ain't heard nothing but singing. Is this a musical? Yep, it sure is. Hey, y'all, it's your girl T on I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Chilling team at your school. No, Chai. 
But I played for the community, though. I was a cheerleader for the community for a couple of months, child. Until the coach like to got beat up, and then I had to quit, y'all. I'm trying to tell you now, honey. She almost got beat up. She too smart mouth to tell me, child. This attitude goes all the way back to my childhood, y'all. Okay. Honey, she like to got beat up. I had to quit. Okay. <laughs> child, I almost forgot I was, I was cheerleading, honey, and then I almost became a football player. Child, and I almost tackle her to death, child. Okay. I'm trying to let you know. <laughs> I feel good today. I feel real good today, y'all. I'm glad. I'm glad that y'all enjoy y'all stuff. All right, come on now. <clears throat> okay, so I got my ground beef. I got my cabbage. I got my bacon. I'm not gonna put the corn beef in the uh in the uh cabbage today, y'all. Because I ain't ready for that yet. I don't even know if that's really what I want. So the ingredients that you're going to need for this. Oh, I forgot my egg. Hold on. I forgot my egg, y'all. I got to get one. Maybe an egg or two. I don't know yet because I got to see how much meat I need. I got. So hold up. All right, so the ingredients that you're going to need is some ground beef of your choice. You can use whatever kind of meat you want to use, honestly. You can use ground turkey, chicken, honey, ground up fish if that's what you want to do, child. I don't care. I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing. All right, so you're going to need the ground beef, ground meat. You're going to need you about an egg or two. Hold up, let me get you right. Okay, you're gonna need you about, there we go. All right, so you're gonna need you about an egg or two. You're gonna need you some breadcrumbs. I like the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, y'all, or, or seasoned. Um, you're gonna need you some chicken based seasoning. You're gonna need you some Lipton onion soup mix. I just got a great value brand. Y'all know I go with a deal and it tastes just as good. Okay, um, and also, let me tell y'all this right here. When y'all go to the grocery store with me and y'all want to question whether this good or that good and stuff like that, I'm going to tell you just like this. I ain't the one that's going to be buying all that name brand stuff all the time, y'all. I get If it tastes just as good as the name brand, trust and believe it's going in my car, okay? And trust my judgment when I tell y'all that it's, it's good, okay? Even when it comes to name brand or off brand uh, hygiene items and cleaning items. Just trust my judgment. Trust my judgment. Now, at the end of the day, your taste buds ain't as, ain't the same as mine. Now, you got to try it for yourself. You might not like it, but that thing, what you said, girl, yeah, yesterday that uh, light, that light spam, and the only reason why I got that was because spam is salty. So, I don't like all that salt and spam and stuff like that. I, I, that's why I got the light, hoping that I ain't never tried that one right there now, y'all. Honestly, I ain't tried that one. And I ain't tried that corned beef hash. But I'm just saying, though, if it's nasty, I'm going to let you know. You ain't going to see it in my grocery haul no more. Okay? All right. So, I just had to go on and tell y'all that little piece about me, cause honey. I ain't the name brand type of girl, honey. Okay? And I ain't finna get over here faking the, faking the phone with y'all just to make somebody happy. I'm just going to let you know, not just in case y'all didn't know that already. All right? All right. So... You're going to need you some onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning salt. You're going to need you some celery salt, the W sauce. You're going to need you some long grain um, wild rice. You're going to need a box of Jiffy Mix because I ain't doing homemade, not today. You're going to need you some uh, flour, whether it's all-purpose or uh, self-rising. You're going to need you a bell pepper. You're going to need you some seasoning for your uh, cabbage, right? So you can use bacon, whatever you, whatever smoked meat that you like to use for your cabbages, greens, stuff like that. I just got some bacon today, y'all, because I'm finna use up what I had in my refrigerator and I only have a small little cabbage. And I wasn't finna be doing all that work, honey, when I ain't got to. Okay, so you're gonna need you some onion. And that's about it. Now, if I add in if I add anything else along, oh, you're gonna need you some black pepper and some salt somewhere. Alright, so when I oh you're gonna need you some cooking oil 
that's a, that's one more thing you're gonna need cooking oil because i like to add cooking oil to my rice instead of butter it's just give it a better flavor in my opinion okay all right so now uh, now we got all this stuff right here together so first off we're gonna start off with cutting up this bell pepper and cutting up cutting up us another onion y'all all right so let me push y'all up real quick one time bring the bell Somebody, oh, and some ketchup. Gonna need some ketchup, y'all. Today I'm making a uh 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 a meatloaf with ketchup on it. I've been having meatloaf with the the gravy on it, you know, a few times, and I ain't did the ketchup meatloaf in a, in a, quite a while. So I'm ready for me some meat, some ketchup meatloaf today. So that's what I'm putting on my meatloaf. So y'all gonna need y'all some ketchup if you want to do the ketchup version. All right. I better turn up. <laughs> All right, I'm about to turn it up for y'all show him. I'm about to show y'all how I get down with this meatloaf, baby. I don't know if anybody do theirs like I do mine, but, honey, I'm going to just show you a thing or two. All right. So, let me get me some boiling water on the stove real quick while we cutting up stuff. That way we can have some stuff going. You know, I ain't one of them slow cooks, y'all, where I like to just do one little thing at a time. Honey, ain't nobody got time for that. So let me get my uh some water going for this rice. And then I'ma get my bacon to start rendering. It's fat and flavor and all that stuff like that. So when I get done with this cabbage, it'll be ready to drop right on down in that pot. Okay. So, I love y'all. Just stretch your neck a little bit. Pretend you can see all the way over here, you know, in pot and stuff. Because I'm finna get this bacon right here in this pot. And we're gonna start just frying this up. You don't really need a lot. You just really want that flavor off that bacon, that grease and that flavor. That's what you want for these cabbages. So you don't really need a lot of bacon. Just enough to give you enough fat. All right. Okay, so y'all can see good. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut up my bell peppers. So I just start getting my stuff diced up and all that. Get ready. So how was y'all day today? Y'all having a pretty good... Oh, I forgot, honey. I got the thing right here set up so I can see y'all. Hold up. Don't cook your bacon too fast, neither, because you don't want to burn your bacon, burn the grease and all that stuff like that, because you're going to need all that for the cabbages. And if you want some burnt tasting cabbages, honey, that's all you need to do is burn some onions, some bacon, some something, and throw them cabbages in there, honey, and it's going to take on that flavor real fast. So try not to burn <clears throat> your onions, your bacon, or nothing that you're going to be adding to that cabbage. Sausage, I like to add sausage to my cabbage, too. All right, so some of this bell pepper is going to go for our cabbage and some of it is going for the uh, meatloaf. So half of this, I'm going to just go ahead on and cut half this up. And that's going to be for the meatloaf. Mama told me I've been crazy since kindergarten. Child, ain't no wrong with that. Everybody got a little crazy in them. Everybody. I don't care who they is. Everybody got a little crazy in them. Ain't no wrong with being a little crazy. In a good way, though. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go on and, and, and rephrase that a little bit. You know. All right. So, let me go and take the bell peppers here. I'm going to go and throw them on in here with this bacon so they can be, you know, getting tender and stuff like that.
Then this here, we just gonna take this one here and do the same thing. Thank you, Jane Doe. Tacos sound good, Miss Barbara. Yes. I had some tacos while I was on vacation. That's what I had made, but <clears throat> I ain't really got to taste my tacos out today. So this one here, I'm dicing it kind of fine. Because this right here is going to get mixed in with the meatloaf. I'm gonna go ahead on and preheat my up. Dang, I got pans in here, child. What I say? Okay. I'm gonna get the mic real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna preheat my oven to about 400 because ain't nobody got time for cooking slow. So I'm gonna put it on 400 and your meatloaf. It's gonna go in that middle rack because you don't want the bottom to cook too fast on you. So I'm dicing this hill up. As fine as I can get it. Y'all ring the doorbell. If y'all don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up the light button. Hit the one time for the one time for me. All right. So now I got that. All right. So now I'm just going to take this here and throw it in my bowl because it's the bowl that my meat going to go in. Thank y'all. Everybody that wrong the doorbell, I thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. Hey, Tenza, anybody in Flora and Miss Barbara Walker. And anybody else that while well, I'm impressed with your nice skills, girl, I be getting it, honey. Okay, so we're gonna get the onions here cut up like so. And I'm gonna dice these here fine as well. Get them cut up pretty good. That way they don't mix in with the meat real good. I know I'm putting that uh milk and onion packet, but I'm, I like to still add some onion. All right. So now we're going to get us another onion. And this onion right here, this right here going to be for the cabbage. <clears throat> your chicken pot pie for dinner Sunday. It was delicious. Yeah, you told me yesterday. Thank you for trying it, uh, Wanda. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Hey, Miss Ella. Is anybody here new so that I can welcome y'all to the family? Y'all ringing that doorbell? There's 100 of y'all here. 64 of y'all on the doorbell. I know y'all probably feel like y'all need a little time to ring the doorbell, but trust me. Trust and bleed. I guarantee you, me, honey. You won't, you won't regret it. You will not regret ringing that doorbell. Okay. I'm just gonna cut these two and little slivers. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cut them up too small because they gonna cook down to nothing anyway. All right. So this right here is for the cabbage. Right there. All right. 
So now we're just going to throw this right here on in there too. And we're just going to let all that there just cook down slowly together while I prepare my cabbage. We're going to get to the meatloaf in just a second, but let me get my stuff cut up, you know. That's why I say this is a cooking blog, not a cooking show. Some people need to know how, okay, how did you cut up this for that? Or how did you cut up that for this? You ain't got to do it exactly like I'm doing it, but I'm just saying. You know, some people just may want to. All right, so if you don't know how to cut up cabbage, here you go. You're going to cut the end off of it, right? That's that root. Cut that off. You're going to take your cabbage. Let me tell you something. Some people, they like to take them cabbages and they like to slice them down fine. Like they over here making some coleslaw. So ain't nobody. Cut your, cut your cabbage down in half. I'm going to show y'all how to do it, honey. Ain't nobody got time for all of that, honey. It's still going to taste the same as long as you season it just as good. The way that I'm going to show you how to cut it up. All right, so now you're going to come in a triangle around that root. And cut it out. And it's, and, and that's how you get the root out your cabbage. All right, let's do it one more time. You're going to come in a triangle around that root. And cut it out just like that. All right, so now you don't de-root it, your cabbage. If that's the word, if it ain't honey, I made it up and y'all better not use it. All right. <laughs> All right, so now what you're going to do is you got two halves of the cabbage. You're going to take that to make it more manageable because yours might be a little bit bigger than mine. Make it more easier for you to handle. Just cut the half in half, right? All right, so now you're working with one of the quarters. Now you're just going to cut this up kind of thick, y'all. You don't need all them little fine slices, y'all. It's going to taste just as good It's gonna if you season it up just right. It's going to taste just as good. Trust me. Ain't nobody got time for all that fine slicing and stuff. See, that's where you're wasting time where you could be doing something else. Let me uh get me some water in this tank because... You know, you got to wash your cabbage, so I'm going to throw it down in the sink to put a little salt on it and wash it just how you do collard greens. You ain't got to wash it as many times as you do collard greens, but you're going to have to wash it. Now, let me show you how thick I got the cabbage cut. Y'all see that? That's about how thick my cabbage is, is sliced. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take this up and throw it down in that water and just break it up a little bit. Separate the pieces. That's all you're going to do. All right. That way the, the salt and all that stuff, the, the, the debris that's on it and the dirt and everything can, you know, fall out the cabbage and all that. All right. So now we're just going to do the same thing to the rest of this cabbage. See, now you ain't spending all day cutting up no cabbage. That's going to taste just the same as a finely sliced cabbage. Just like that. Now, if you got the green part still on your cabbage and you're going to cook it, cut the green part, the dark green part, separate from the light green part. Because, and don't put it in the same sink water as this part of the cabbage. Wash it by itself because you're going to cook it by itself. Because that dark green part, it takes a little longer to cook than this right here. So don't put them together. Now, I typically don't cook them, bring them home from the store because most of the time they be too ugly looking for me and dirty looking and stuff like that. So I just go ahead on the peel them off at the grocery store, honey, because I ain't finna pay for nothing I'm finna throw in the garbage can. Okay, you feel me? All right, just letting you know. So I'm gonna just cut this hill up right here. This ain't the same, this ain't what I'm talking about, but that's what you would do with this piece. You'll put it in a bowl by itself, wash it. That way you can cook this, the dark green, separate from the rest of the cabbage. All right, so now I got that down in some water. And the only thing I'm about to do is I'm about to take me some salt. And I'm going to sprinkle it over these cabbages while they're in this water. And whatever, if it's a worm on it, y'all know that salt going to kill it. It's going to shrivel on up and die. All right, so we got that right there in the sink water, and you're just gonna let this here just do what it do, break those little pieces up like that, 
separating those little chunks and stuff. You know, you ain't really got to do this, but I like to do it. You know, because I'll be trying to make sure my cabbage be clean and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I do it, y'all. So, I'm just separating these pieces here. And we're just going to let these soak for a little bit until I get ready for them. What's up, baby? How's your day? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, it was all right. It says my video still uh downloading on that computer. You ain't got to touch nothing. Just let me know. Make sure it ain't stopped. 5149 uh, I made it, y'all. Wait, 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 slow, slow. I told you my camera's yeah. slow. I ain't even walked in on that thing. There you go, y'all. 5149. I just now walked in on your screen. Hey, my, oh, you know what? It might be behind a little bit. I might need to go out and come back in on my. Way behind. They say, what's up, babe? 5150, man. Fifty one forty nine. <laughs> they know what time. You already. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you that. You're just stupid slow. He lost the number exactly, Miss Oh uh, JC. How you doing, bro? <laughs> All right. So now we are back over here, y'all, to the meat. All right. So we got our bell peppers, and we got our onion in the bowl. Uh, it ain't downloaded. Okay, I'm finna say it ain't got no business stopping yet. Okay. So now, moving right along. Here we go. All right, y'all in there now. Okay. I'm gonna just turn my water down back there. That's for my rice. All right. So we're gonna take our um ground beef. Sneaking in here, girl. Don't get in trouble now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, we're going to take this ground beef and we're going to get it in the bowl. Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. Hey y'all, 137 of y'all. If y'all new, let me know so I can welcome y'all to the family. Tiana made me want to make this meal and said, and I said to myself, I wasn't cooking today. <laughs> What's up, lovely? Ooh, that's a lot of meat. Okay, I'm gonna eat both my eggs. All right. Alrighty, so now what we about to do is we about to season this on up. Go with your own amount of seasonings that you want to use. All right, ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do. I'm just gonna give you a guide, and you go with it. That's how I do here on my channel. Okay, I just give y'all a guide. I show y'all what I use. You season the way that you want to seize. Add what you want to add. Take away what you want to take away. It's up to you. It's your stuff. You got to eat it, not me. All right. All right. So let's let's go on and start off with the wish the the wishy on Y'all know that's what I call the wishy on. I wish you would try to save me sauce. We're going to uh, put some of that up in here. You're going to add you some. W sauce. Add as much as you want to add. Um, I use I got about two pounds and a little over of ground beef. Um, so maybe that was about two tablespoons I added. Let's say that. All right. So I'm putting some celery salt because I don't like celery 
crunchy celery in my food. So I love the celery salt to season my food. All right, we're going to add us some garlic powder. We're going to add that onion powder off up in there. Even though we got onions and adding Lipton onion soup mix. Okay, more flavor. All right, every, everybody tastes different in this food fan reunion. Okay, food have fan reunions, but as long as it what? Family, y'all tell them before I have to. Okay, so we're going to add a... Um, a packet of the Lipton onion soup mix to this. And I'm thinking to add two because I got so much meat. So I'm going to just add both of those. As long as it what, family? As long as it tastes good. That's all that matters, y'all. Okay? As long as your food tastes good. Don't nobody kill. Oh... Uh, Exactly. All right. So we got that. All right. So now we're going to go with us some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs, what it's going to do is it's going to give you moisture. You can use regular bread if you want to, but I just go ahead on and add the breadcrumbs, you know, because I ain't got to be worried about, you know, uh, breaking up bread and stuff like that. You could toast the bread too if you want to and then put it in there. All right. So I'm adding two eggs. If you're using less than me, you probably just need one. That's a binder. All right. So we also going to add a second binder, which is my flour. It's a binder and it and it's a and it help with moisture as well with your meatloaf. Okay. So I'm going to add me a little flour to that. All right. All right. So now I'm going to add some black pepper to that. And now we in there to start mixing. Did I add my little seasoning salt? I don't know. I ain't finna. Did I add seasoning salt, y'all? Tell me, did I add seasoning salt? Did I add some seasoning salt? Hey, Donnie. Oh, I had seasoning salt. Okay. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of seasoning salt in there, y'all. Because I added, I added celery salt that got salt. I added um, breadcrumbs that got seasoning. I've added the W sauce, which it have salt. And I've added the two packs of the Lipton onion that got salt. So I don't want this to be salty. So that's why I say I'm adding just a little bit of that. And I'm not going to add salt, y'all. Okay? I'm one of the ones that I like to add my seasonings. And I add salt less if I need it. That's if I need it. That's why I said you might need. I told y'all that in the beginning of this video. You might need some salt somewhere. I'm not a salt, heavy salt user like that. So now you're going to give all this here a good mix. Mix. And mix those onions and bell peppers. And you can use tricolor bell peppers if you want to. It's up to you. Add what you want to add to this. Make it your own recipe. Do what you want to do. It's up to you. Because as long as it tastes good. That's all that's going to matter. Y'all rang the doorbell. Thank y'all for those of you that did ring the doorbell. I'm your girl, Tiana. I'm going to be me. I'm over here making y'all some meatloaf, some wild rice, cornbread, and some cabbage today for dinner. Get it all mixed in good. You want every piece of this ground beef in here that have some seasoning and some onion all throughout it okay all right i'm using an aluminum pan today honey because oh uh, your sugar boo ain't for the dishes y'all already know we the paper plate yeah paper plate crew y'all already know if you were the paper plate crew you already know how we do all right so we're going to get this here meatloaf dumped out in that pan. What's up, Chef Brooklyn Boo? All right, so now we're going to form our meatloaf. 
You can shape your meatloaf into a heart, a star, smiley face, circle, oval. However, the shape is not going to change the taste. You can spread it out to, the, to a rectangle if you want to, the size of your pan. However, it's up to you. Do it how you want to do it. Just make sure you got, got it all padded, you know, even, even out, okay? I'm going to kind of like square it up, rectangle it up a little bit today. That way I have even slices when I cut into it. All right. So now we got that. So now we about to take this meatloaf and we're going to throw it in the oven just like this. No cover on it, no nothing on the middle rack, not the top, not the bottom. Put it on the middle that way it don't cook too fast and it don't cook uh, uh cook too fast on the top nor the uh, bottom all right so we're gonna put this on the middle all right get some stuff out your way and then we can move on to this next step Meatloaf look good. Child, you know it's going to be good. Okay. So now, got my pot right here with the bacon in there. Okay. So, what we about to do is, you want to play, you are... <laughs> You already know, Tika. Tika, you know what, Tika? I done figured it out. Tika be trying to be, beat y'all to the punch, y'all. Tika be done told me when the food, before the food got started, she be wanting her a plate. That's what it is, y'all. Tika be beating y'all to the punch so she can make sure she can be the first one to get her plate. I don't blame you, Tika. You already had a strategy for all these doggone folks on here, honey, child. I don't blame you. Okay. All right. So, I got my water back there. And so, what we are gonna do is we, gonna, we just gonna, uh dump that rice right on in there. I forgot I like to add a little chicken base seasoning to my rice y'all. I'm not going to add too much because this rice come with a little seasoning. I'm going to add a little black pepper to that. Okay and so now I'm going to add the rest of my wild rice in there. I had already had my water boiling. All right. So one thing about white rice, most definitely, you got to start off with you a pot of boiling water, y'all, okay? If not, your rice is not going to turn out right. And I'd rather my rice to uh, be underdone than overly cooked because one thing about me, I do not like no mushy rice. So you want about, about that much water over your rice because you want to be able to see your rice through that water. If you can't see your rice, you got too much water in there. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to add my seasoning and that's the easiest way for me to, me to explain white rice 
to y'all so that you don't end up making some spoiled rice. You know, rice, spoiled rice is rice that is just mushy. It's just, you just done straight messed it up, honey. It's, you just really need to just throw it away, honey. The rice about like mashed potatoes. And honey, uh, you, you, honey, I'm trying to tell you, um, your baby can eat it. That kind of mashed potatoes. I, I mean, rice. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, got that. I like to add onion powder to my rice, y'all. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Even though it comes with its own seasoning, I still like to do what I like to do with my stuff. All right, so I'm gonna mix that up a little bit, get that a little stir around. All right, so now this is where the cooking oil comes into play. Go ahead on and add your oil to your rice I like instead of uh, butter because it give it a lighter taste. It don't have it so heavy tasting like butter do. You know what I'm saying? Like butter is one of those things like it really does coat your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know how to explain it to y'all, but I'm not a really a big fan of butter. Y'all already know that. All right. So. All right. So, gonna get this bacon here. It's been doing a little, a little bit of something, something. All right. So we're gonna get that. We ain't trying to crisp it up and all that good stuff because it ain't gonna do nothing but wilt right back on down. But them bell peppers, they don't softened up. I got just a little tad bit of oil off of it. I got more flavor I'm going to put up in here, so don't worry about all of that right there. And if you don't get enough flavor to yours, I'm, I got you, boo. I'm going to show you what you do with some cabbage, and it's going to make your cabbage taste just as good as mine. All right, so now, let's get over here real quick. I'm going to get these here. They're going to soak it for a little while, and what you're going to do is you just going to... Work them on up some more, toss them around. That way the little dirt and all that stuff can just go on and fall all off to the bottom like that. Okay. Same thing you do in your kitchen, I do in mine. This is a cooking vlog, not a cooking show, y'all. The difference with a cooking vlog and the cooking show, because somebody asks, is y'all see everything on vlogs. Cooking shows, they cut some stuff out. You don't see them wash dishes, clean the kitchen, uh, put pack the food up. You don't see all that. But you see that on my channel. All right, so now we're about to get this little cabbage up out of this water. about to give one more good little rinse, honey. I'm going to wrench it around and wrench it off because all the little dirt, it don't fell off to the bottom. Just wrench it around and wrench it on off. All right, I'll come back and get them in just a second. All right, so I'll come on back over here to the pots. All right, so now we're about to get our cabbage. I ain't had no water yet because y'all know cabbage, it releases on water. So I'm going to add this cabbage right down in this pot.
all of it gonna fit because cabbage shrink. And we're gonna let this hill shrink down a little bit and then I'm gonna come back to it. We're gonna mix up this jiffy mix. All right. So get your lid, put it on there, suffocate it so it can start cooking down. All right, so we got that cooking. I'm gonna watch this bowl out like one more time. This is gonna be for that. I'm only gonna do one box. So I ain't really got a lot cooked. That I'm cooking. Is y'all proud of me? Y'all should be proud of me for cooking small as I'm cooking. Cause y'all know that I be overcooking, child. Okay. So, let me get over here to the, um, get over here and get me an egg real quick. Hold up. An egg and some milk. Okay, so divine wisdom, I saw you coming, sure, but I ask anybody, please don't come over here soliciting yourself. Thank you. All right, so we're going to dump this box of uh, Jiffy. Now, what you say, Kiki? Hold up. Now, Tiana, Tiana out here killing cabbages, talking about suffocate, not wilt the cabbage. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Kiki, I ain't see your ass. She about to make me cuss, y'all. I said I want cussing today. I didn't see your butt yesterday. Don't come over here with no mess today, God dang it. <laughs> All right. So... I'm going to add that one egg to it. What's up, Diddy? Cat, uh, cat, catty mama. What's up, y'all? Uh, girl, I wasn't trying to be nosy, but, th but that reminds me I need to get some prunes. Oh, yeah, child. Uh-huh. I like to keep them on hand, honey, because you just, <laughs> you just never know if you might need them or somebody come by and they might need them a prune or two. You know what I'm saying? You can help them out. All right, so let's see. I add sugar. I don't know about y'all, but sugar go in Jiffy. I had to put a little bit more, honey, because my, you know, my, my seizure went through. Okay, my hand, it catch a seizure, and when the seizure stop, it let me know I need to stop. All right, two more people, y'all, and I be don't reach my goal of 100 over right. Hold up now, is this milk free? 
Okay. I have to check. I had to check, huh, to make sure the milk was fresh. Oh, wait. What is Jiffy though? You don't know what Jiffy is? Okay. This is Jiffy. Jiffy is a cornbread. And they also have Jiffy muffin, the blue, the blueberry muffins. They also sell that as well. And I think somebody said they got the honey kind too. I gotta go find that because I ain't know we had the uh honey. Jiffy, yo, yo. Hey Miss Fifi! What's up, boo? And welcome to the family Lucif Luciferian. Oh, child, honey, you got the wrong name. Oh, excuse me, child, but honey, that's the first thing coming to my mind. Excuse me, but, uh, child, honey, Jesus be on this life. All right. Okay, so, now, uh, that's all I'm going to do with this. I'm going to mix this here up. Okay, so now we're gonna mix that there up. Together. Y'all don't start, don't they? Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, hey. We've been doing good, y'all. I just I just made a mistake and, and spoke outside my head just then. Or spoke out loud. We're doing good. All right, so I'm gonna mix that up right there. Get the egg mixed in there good. All right, so now, uh, I'm gonna spray my pan. Y'all ring the doorbell. Uh-oh. Hold up, child. Excuse me for the ones that's new and don't know, honey. Child. Honey. Y'all ring the doorbell. Y'all ring the doorbell. Y'all ring the doorbell. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to a hundred. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to one hundred and seven. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Every time y'all help me reach my goal of 100 dollars bell rings, the first go round, I sang my song. Okay, everything got to that is increments of 50. Okay, so let's go on and see if we can get that to 150 dollars bell rings. Y'all, let's keep it going. I know y'all can do it. There's 177 of y'all in here. It's somebody that didn't ring the doorbell. If y'all didn't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up, the light button. If you was new here, chai. Welcome. Okay. Thank you for coming. I hope you was enjoying yourself. I hope you was enjoying me. I hope you enjoying the cooking and all that good stuff. You gonna have a good time. Okay. You have just stumbled upon a good channel. I'm just letting you know now. Okay. I'm just letting you know. So if you know, welcome Katie. I think that's how you say your name. Katie mama. Welcome Katie. Hey Veronica. How you doing boo? Welcome y'all. Welcome Katie to the family. Hey Aubrey. Anybody here new y'all let me know so that I can welcome y'all to the family because me and my family honey we got mentors over here okay. We like to welcome people. All right. All right. Thank you for coming. Okay so now I'm about to take this uh jiffy and I'm gonna get it when I'm gonna make some jerk chicken. I'm gonna think about doing that on um probably Sunday. 
I might do it Sunday. We gotta see. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I do it on Sunday or I might save that because I wanna cook out for Easter. So we gotta see how plans go. You know what I'm saying? I might take that jerk chicken and throw it on the grill the way it's supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? So I really can't speak too fast on it yet. I don't know yet. So now we got that, and I'm finna take this here and put it on in the oven. I gotta turn my oven down to 375 because this here going in here now. Woo! Okay, let me let y'all see what the meatloaf is starting to look like so far. It's, it's, it's firming and on up. And it ain't going to shrink too much if you do your meatloaf like I do mine. Okay? But this is what the meatloaf is looking like so far. Alright, so now back to the cabbage. You just got your notification. Dang, Kill. Try to reset it uh, after this live, Kill. You're welcome, Katie. Okay. So, now we're about to season up these cabbages since they don't cook down a little bit, y'all. I had my pot turned down to medium so I don't burn the bacon, the bell peppers, the onion, and none of that that's sitting on the pot. All right, so my, my rice is done, y'all. And y'all see this rice? I can look at it and tell that it's almost done, but it's not done, right? Don't add no more water to your rice. That's why I like to say I like to underwater. I like to, uh, I about to say underwater, which ain't a word, but I'm going to say it anyway. I like to underwater my rice, which means add less water than you need to your rice. And when the rice is done, it's going to be half done, right? But it's good. It's, it's all good when it's half done because that means that you ain't really gonna have to, as long as it's about done, okay, well, you ain't gonna really have to add no more water, right? So this is what you do when the rice is half done. You're gonna turn the eye off, leave the lid on, let it sit there, and the steam from that pot is gonna cook that rice through and through, and you ain't gonna have to add no more water. And that's how you make the perfect uh, rice that every grain is to itself. All right. So now with the cabbage, this cabbage it done made just a little razzle dazzle, teensy weensy bit of water. All right. So we just gonna stir this around, you know, cause I want to get them flavors from that bacon all on the cabbage. You know what I'm saying? That 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 uh that grease and all of that. I want it all over this cabbage now. We not we still not adding no water at this point. The only thing I want to do is stir around all that flavor that way it touch all this cabbage right about now. Okay, all right. So now you're gonna go in with you some onion powder. Just just put you some. Okay. Then you're gonna go in with you just a little chicken based seasoning. That's going to give you that little chicken broth a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right. Then you're going to go in with you just a little bit of the celery salt. I don't like celery like that, but I love celery salt. So you're going to add you just a little bit of the celery salt. Y'all need to get y'all. You know what? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to say nothing else about that right now. All right. So then you're going to. Um, you're going to let's see. I'm going for two more seasonings okay so i got this here ham seasoning y'all if y'all ain't never had used this ham seasoning it gives it a, a ham flavor in a way 
That's good, uh, Katie. I'm glad that you're feeling better. See, that's how you're supposed to feel when you come over to my channel. You're supposed to feel a little pepping in your mood. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm... And thank you for letting me know that because I know that I done did my job today. I don't care if I ain't moved nobody else in a good way today. At least I know that I moved at least one person today. All right? So, yeah. This going to give it a little ham flavoring, Okay? So, if you don't have no smoked meat, you ain't got no bacon, but you got your greens, you got your cabbage, you got all the stuff that you need, and you got some of this ham seasoning in your cabinet, but you ain't never used it before because you don't heard me tell you about it, but you decided that, you know, you don't really know nothing about it, but you ain't want to use it. Okay, this is the time. Go on on and get you a little ham seasoning, and you're going to sprinkle some of that in there, right? And that's going to give you that little ham smoky, like you got some meat up in there when you probably don't. All right, but... I added just for another layer of flavor. All right. I got to move the camera up, y'all, because I got on some leggings, honey. And they a little see-through, and the underwear I got on ain't matching the hide. So that's why I keep pushing y'all up so y'all don't see my behind. Okay. All right. So then you're going to need you some, uh... Some butter or margarine. You have ham season. It's good. I ain't even miss Marsh to tell them. I would try your rice to when I made the living rice this week. Oh, yeah. I still got to make that for y'all, too. I'm, I'm probably going to make that this week, too. We're going to see because this childy days be flying by, honey. You already know, girl. You already know it is. People bake chicken until it's dry. Uh, honey, girl, listen. Tika, you already know it. We don't do nothing dry over here. All right. Okay. So anyway, you're going to need you some butter, margarine. Like I told you, I'm not really a fan of butter. I need to become a fan because butter is better than margarine, as my family say here. You know. And so, you know, I change over one day, maybe when they come down on the price of butter. But until then, honey, I'm a margarine fan. Okay. And I've been using margarine for so long, too. I really don't like butter. Honestly, y'all. All right. So... I'm gonna get some of this butter. This butter, chai. Chai. If you ain't never put no butter in your cabbages, honey, do it next time you cook them, all right? So you're gonna add you some butter. Tiana was saying she likes to underwater her rice. Exactly. In other words, she uses less water to get her rice firm and fluffy. You better not fluffy. Don't even put fluffy on there. I don't like the word fluffy when it comes to rice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen ham since in England. Okay, see if you can find it um on uh Amazon. It's made by Bodia. Let me show you one more time. It's made by Bodia. And Bodia make good seasonings. Okay, Bodia, I need a sponsorship because I do use a lot of your oil seasonings. All right. But you put use you some of this right here. It's gonna get you just right. And and look it up. Ham. Ham seasoning by Bodia. All right. So we're gonna put some of that butter off up in there. I call my margarine butter because that's what it is to me. All right. So we're gonna get that done mixed around. So now you got your bacon in there. You got the bacon grease. You got you some some uh, onion powder, um, celery salt. You got you some ham seasoning. You got you some butter. No water yet. All right, so now we're going to go with us a little bit of this Tony's, right? And the only reason why I'm using the Tony's is for all them good flavors that Tony got. Tony's is a good season. I ain't even knocking them, honey. Tony's is good. But another thing that I like about Tony's is they got a little kick to it. It's spicy. Don't use it too much, and it's salty as heck, y'all. Okay, so use your little Tony's in your seasoning, in your uh, green, in your cabbage, right? Especially if you want to... You know, a little spicy kick. It don't take that much because you're going to taste them flavors. All right. Then another thing I'm going to add is some butter. Some sugar. It don't take much, but you just you just need a little sugar in your cabbages and your greens and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So add you just a little bit of that sugar. Find a little teaspoon. Just depends on, I, I add about a teaspoon. Just depends on how much you're going to be cooking. But about a little teaspoon will do you, okay? It's just going to knock out that little green flavor. You know how when you eat greens and stuff like that, it have like that little extra little green taste to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really don't know how to explain it to y'all. But if, if, if you don't cook with 
sugar in your greens or cabbages and stuff like that then try it next time and then see if you notice a difference and come back and let me know girl i tried that sugar in them cabbages girl you know what the heck you talking about thank you boo okay so i know you're gonna thank me so you welcome all right All right, so I still haven't added any water, y'all, because these cabbages, they still cooking and they still going to continue to release juices and stuff like that. You is not going to need. <laughs> for the, bless me, Jesus. Thank y'all. You're not going to need no water for the amount of cabbages. That's why I kept trying to tell y'all, I ain't got no water yet. I ain't got no water yet. Because these cabbages, they're going to make all the water that I really want from them. If I can get y'all in the pot, see. Y'all see that? Can you see it or you can't? Look at that. That's a lot of water, y'all, for some cabbage. Okay. That is a lot. That's a lot of water, y'all. Okay. All right. So I don't need no more. We just gonna let this cabbage hill just cook down in its own juices. Now, how long you cook the cabbages? I know somebody gonna say that. Okay. Let me go on tell you. Your cabbage might be cut up bigger than mine. It might be cut up uh, unevenly. It might you have might have more cabbage than me. So I cannot judge how long you need to cook your cabbage for. Okay. Only thing I'm gonna tell you is, if you is a good cook, then you taste your food when you cook. Okay. So if you know what cabbage supposed to taste like, or if you ain't never had cabbage before, you want your cabbage to have a tender. You want the cabbage leaves to be tender, but you don't want to cook them so far till it's mushy, okay? But you still want it to be just but just be tender, all right? And that's that's how long you should cook your cabbage until the cabbage is nice and tender. So if you have to keep tasting and it's like, oh no, that's too crunchy for me. Taste, keep tasting until it gets to the point where you want it, and then stop. All right. You got to taste your food, y'all. If you, if you don't taste your food, I don't know what kind of cook you is, honey, because I like to make sure my flavors be on point. All right. So I'm just tossing that around just like that. And these right here, I can already tell that they're going to be done in just about, I'm going to give them about a good, what, five, six more minutes, and they're probably going to be done because it don't take long for cabbage to cook, honestly, y'all. Okay, so they gonna get everything else is good, but they finna get like one more little hit of this tonies, like that. So now we're going to put the lid back on there, let this cook for about another, I'm going to say probably about another six minutes, y'all, because my cabbage is really about done. And, and that's going to be it for the cabbage. The rice is already done. And this is how you know you got some perfect cooked rice, y'all. Let me show you. And then we're going to move over and wash the dishes because what? This is a what? Can somebody tell them? This is a what? What this is, y'all? I can't be using Tony's. Don't agree with the taste buds. Oh, I don't know what you be doing wrong, uh, Kiki. But uh, uh you know, I, I was, uh, well, maybe you probably be using too much, Kiki, because you don't like if you don't like spicy stuff. It's a cooking vlog. Thank you, Kiki and Sasha. It's a cooking vlog. So that's why y'all gonna see me washing these dishes over here. Alright. So this how you know that you don't cook some perfect rice. You see that steam? That steam was still cooking that rice. Now my rice is done. Look, y'all. This how you know. You see how every grain of that rice is to itself. Try. 
that's how I like my rice, y'all. I know y'all hear me scraping, but it's it's it, the spoon, the fork is scrubbing the side of the pot, not the bottom. I ain't, I ain't scratching my pot up, y'all. But I have to fork my rice, okay? Yes, Kiki, I said it. God dang. Okay. Couldn't remember his name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how you know you got some nice rice, y'all. It be just like that. Every grain is to itself. That's why I say I don't like the word fluffy when it comes to rice because I don't like fluffy rice. Fluffy means that the rice don't swole up. That's fluffy to me. My rice to look just like parboiled rice, even if it is white, regular white rice. And that's how you know you cook some good white rice. All right, so let me taste it and make sure. Go on here, fool. You did that good. All right, so. <laughs> y'all. Don't pay me no mind if y'all new here, honey. It's just me and my personality, okay? It's just me. All right, so we about to wash these dishes. And while I do that, I'm going to talk with y'all for a little bit. Read some comments or something. Some people like to see it. So I'm gonna put you down now. What kind of rice? That's wild rice kill. Mm. You lost some weight, girl. You looking fantastic. Girl! Child, don't tell me, girl. I know, boo, girl. I'm still trying. Listen. I gotta look at y'all when I talk to y'all. I'm still trying, y'all. That damn ooh, child. Oh, I think I is it's safe to cuss now. Listen, y'all. I'm still trying. Okay, the struggle is real, y'all. What's up, T with D? But um I forgot what the hell I was saying. Anyway, I'm reading y'all comments and stuff. But yeah, thank you, girl. What's up, Jason? Thank you, boo. Hey, Danielle. <laughs> Miss Fifi, I tried to be okay. But yeah, child, I've been trying to work it on out. I need to get back to it though, for real, for real. But honey, I just ain't really big. It's better. It was better before I left though. But um, it's back. I think it's back to normal. I don't know. I got my, you know, it done got to the, in a way. You know how when you bend to try to get something down? I hope my leg ain't messed up, honey, because y'all know that, uh, Every now and then, you know, I might have to show out a little something like that. You know what I'm saying? I might have to, you know, dip it down a little, a little. You know, for my husband, shy. You know, I can't be having no messed up knee, child. Okay. Child, but anyway, my knee, it do be feeling funny, though, when I be trying to get down low sometimes. Y'all buffering? <laughs> my me do be feeling kind of funny. So I don't know if it's going to be like that, you know, because that, that ache just done kicked in or something. But yeah, I need to get back to my working out and stuff like that. <clears throat> and can I be real with y'all? Can, can, I, can I just be, can I be real with y'all and y'all just feel me where I'm coming from? Can I just be real with y'all one time for the one time? Can I just be real with y'all? Girl, you know the different down low, girl. The different down low. But can I be, can I be, can I just be transparent, be real with y'all? Y'all my family, and, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it to you like it really is, for real. Doing that damn workout with y'all. Y'all. That puts a lot of, a lot of pressure on me. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't want to do it with y'all, but. It puts a lot of pressure on me because I have so many people and there are certain people that really depends on me to come on here and do it with y'all. 
So that makes it where I can't skip a day if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I got somebody waiting on me. You know what I'm saying? So it put too much pressure on me. And it makes me to the point where, well, damn, I don't know if I want to keep doing this. Even though I want to do it. And I'm not doing it for y'all. I'm doing it for me. But when I want to slack off, I want to slack off. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody trying to judge my every meal. My every everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody trying to judge all of that. And so by me doing it with y'all, it, it gives y'all a say-so over my journey. And like I tell y'all, y'all ain't got no say-so over my journey. It's my, it's my journey and I do what I want to do on my journey. If I feel I want to slap, I want to work out, I'm not going to work out. But I that's what makes it hard for me to come on and do it with y'all because I know that y'all is depending on me. I want this journey to be as easy. I don't care how long it got to be. Because at the end of the day, I feel good. I feel better. I look good. And I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? That I am lo I am losing the weight. Naturally. No, I ain't got them yet. Because I'm going to set my tank up with y'all. So, I, was, I, I think I might record that tomorrow. I might. Tomorrow game night, y'all. So, if y'all new here, we'll... Uh, Y'all come and join us uh, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time for game night. But, um, yeah. So, it, it just make it hard for me, y'all. It really do. And I, I, I'm, one thing that I don't like to be, I don't like to look like a liar to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to look like, oh, she just, she do, I ain't finna give you that over me. You know what I'm saying? What'd you say? Hey, uh, Bites and Only Mukbang. So, I ain't finna give y'all that upper hand over me to try to dictate my every move. No. Because, at the end of the day, like I say, I'm doing this for me. I'm looking good. I feel good. I have lost a lot of weight, even though it may not seem like a lot to some of y'all, but it's a lot for me. It's a, it's a, it's a lot for me. Let me turn these cabbages off, child, because, honey, they, they threw. Okay. But it's a lot for me. I done came a long way, and, I done, and, I'm, and I'm doing, and I, and I have done good, and I'm still doing good. Because, y'all, <laughs> I still ain't got back to them 300 pounds yet, honey, with all that I have been doing and ain't been doing. Okay? So, I'm still doing good. But, you know, this is my journey, y'all. And I don't want to get to the point where, you know, I just give up totally and fully because I have so many people that's dependent on me. Y'all gotta put yourself in my shoes. Y'all gotta put yourself in my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta understand when it's just more than just you on a journey and people that's doing it with you, when they mess up, they gonna try to throw they, they, they elf ups, okay, on you because they know that they done messed up. You feel me? So, I don't need nobody to be trying to throw their f ups on me because you over there slacking. So, you need somebody to make it feel, make you feel good because you see them messing up too. You feel me? And I ain't trying to go down like that. So, I'd rather do it on my own and do pre recordings with y'all and for y'all, well, for y'all, instead of me doing it live with y'all every day because that's just too much for me. It is. And I just rather tell y'all the honest truth than to keep beating around the bush and be like, oh, we getting back to it, we getting back to it, we getting back to it. Knowing really deep down on the inside, I want to do this thing by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it by myself, but with y'all on pre recordings whenever I drop them for you. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I I just I just can't, y'all. I can't. I can't. It's too much. It's too much. Thank you, Divine Wisdom. But it, it's just too much, y'all. It really is. So, I just, I have to tell y'all because I don't want y'all, oh yeah, because I know I got the people that sitting back with the ones that don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all that sitting back and y'all, and y'all waiting on that day that I was going to say, oh, I ain't doing this no, no, y'all wasn't going to get it like that. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get me telling them that I'm not doing it. As a, as a group no more. It's just too much for me. It's just too much, y'all. So, I thank y'all for understanding, but I really did just have to come and tell y'all that because I am going to get back to my working out, but I just want to do it by myself. I do. 
and I'll share my results with y'all and stuff like that. But I gotta do this thing by myself, y'all, cause it's it's hard. It's hard enough to lose weight and then have pressure on top of you from other people. Y'all, I'm telling you, you just gotta put yourself in my shoe and understand where I'm coming from. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Right, Miss Marsha, and that's how it's supposed to be. Thank you, Divine Wisdom. That's how it's supposed to be. Because at the end of the day, everybody is on their own journey anyway. So I don't need to be held accountable for nobody. Because that's what they do. That's exactly what they do, y'all. A lot of y'all might not don't see it. But y'all don't see what I see. You know, some of y'all. Y'all don't see what I see. You got so many people that sit back. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this with you. And, and, and. Y'all know who y'all is. Okay. Thank you, Kia. Exactly, T. Johnson. That's all I could do. That is all I could do. I'm telling you because as long as I can be real with y'all and be me and, and give y'all just, just kick it to you 100. That's me. I don't care if you don't accept what I say. You don't agree with what I say. Hey, okay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say is hey. It just is what it is. Everybody's not going to agree. But for the ones that understand, I thank you. Exactly, Lynn. Exactly. Hey, Caitlin. Thank you, Angela. So yeah. Yep. I just I just want y'all to I oh girl, thank you. I just want y'all to um, you know, just 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 be motivated by seeing my results. Cause y'all gonna see them. Y'all gonna see them up, y'all gonna see them down, y'all gonna see it all. So just just be motivated by by my struggles and be and, and be motivated by me keep pushing and doing good. I'm gonna get there, whatever it is that I'm trying to get. But I hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, it ain't done yet. Thank you for reminding me. But yo. Child, this 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 weight loss journey ain't easy, y'all. I'm telling you, honey, plenty of days to make you want to cry. Okay, I ain't lying, honey. I love to eat. Didn't I tell y'all that? I love to eat, honey. Food is good, honey. Okay, and I love to cook. Child, who want to be over here making stale bread all the time? Child, not me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, honey. It ain't and it ain't always about, you know, what you eating. It's all about how much you eat and how much water you intaking and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Cutting back, changing things, cutting out sodas, you know, trying to do something a little better. It might take a little longer with the way that I'm doing it, but at least I know there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? I it might not be coming off as fast, fast as all uh, them them Coke bottles, honey. But child, it's gonna come off. One day. Honey, the stomach gonna get fine one day. It's already fine, honey. Cause get what? I got a husband that loves a child. Okay, you better know it. What you said? You pulled a Tiana earlier today and burned the hell out my girl. <laughs> that what you get? That what you get? You, what you said, you your own person. Life don't revolve around them. That's right, Tika. That's right. What you cooking? I just made, what you said, stuff. Oh, girl, that sound good. I ain't never had stuff pepper before, but I'm making some meatloaf, cabbages, cornbread, wild rice. Johnson, girl. Hey, long as that bay love a child, I'm in there. Uh. 
Okay, Diddy, girl, you girl, you better say, honey, if they can't accept me for me, honey, because my husband was with me at my heaviest, and he only going to love it as it go down, okay? I ain't saying that he ain't loving when it was big and round, honey, but uh, when it get even down a little smaller, honey, he in for an extra treat. You hear me? Okay. He, he, he ain't stressing about whether it's big or small. <laughs> he ain't stressing about that. But at the same time, he on my side, baby. You, you all right now? You know what's going on? You know, he more motivated sometimes. Sometimes. What you said on um, what you cooking? You cooking that keep your husband plate okay? That's good though. That's good. But you're right about that, Lynn. That is good. Congratulations on that. I know that was hard work, girl. Hey, Miss Peggy. Child. So I ain't mad about him, honey. He hey, when he met me, baby, he was loving all of this. Okay. And I was and I was every bit of three something at the time. Okay. So I ain't hunting. I ain't, I ain't losing it for him. I'm doing this thing for me, child, honey. Okay, did I tell y'all I like them? <laughs> child! I don't get me started, child, please. Please. <laughs> I ain't trying to be bad today, y'all. Today is Wednesday, okay? I told y'all I was being a saint today. <laughs> I am being a saint today. <laughs> <laughs> Me and love a thick madame. Okay. Don't let them fool you, ladies. I know that's girl. You better tell them again. Honey. I don't know. I don't know who didn't tell them, baby. Child, you get a couple hours around that waist, baby, honey. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, y'all get me through. All right, child, you better cook a meatloaf and some cornbread and and, and some wild rice and uh and, and, and some cabbage. So, okay, girl, I'm trying to tell you now. You better. <laughs> you gonna thank me later. I agree with you. You are. You with you. We all have to go on our own journey to exercise. You got me started on my way. So thank you. You welcome. You welcome. Uh, 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 Debo MK. You welcome. And and that's the good. Not and you know what? That's the good part about it. Somebody can you know, uh, say, I wasn't doing it, but you know, she helped me get started. You know what I'm saying? So that makes me feel good because I done helped a lot of y'all get off that chair. I done helped a lot of y'all make a move and 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 to to the better you. You know what I'm saying? To lose some weight, to even just get you a little walk, a little exercise, a little movement in throughout your uh every day. You know what I'm saying? So or every other day, however you doing it. I and if you want off that chair and I got you up off that chair, honey, I feel good about that. Okay, honey, don't don't take my brownie points. Cause uh, I deserve them all. I deserve all my brownie points, honey. I'm trying to tell you now, honey. I've made a difference with some of my family members on here, honey. Shoot, honey, we went through a we went through a struggle together, trying with them so uh backs and and thighs and stuff, honey. Working out them first that first week, child. We <laughs> y'all done made it through, okay? I know that's real, Dee Dee. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, uh, Miss Gloria. Got your mouth watering. <laughs> All right, so I done got my dishes washed up. We're going to shake this cornbread one more time.
Let's check the bread. And the meatloaf, cause meatloaf don't take that long either, y'all. So, let me get my hot water going because I'm going to dump that grease off that meatloaf. And I'm going to let my bread... It's about, it's about done. It's done, but I'm going to just let it brown a little bit more on top. Y'all know I don't really care for the browning, but I'm, I'm going to give it a little bit more color. Just a little bit. Y'all, y'all know what I'm thinking about doing. <sighs> oh, box, I said I was going to do the meatloaf with some ketchup, y'all. But something just crossed my mind. And uh, to do the meatloaf with the barbecue sauce on the top. What y'all think about that? I think it's gonna be good. I ain't never had no meat loaf with barbecue sauce on the top, but it just crossed my mind. Y'all know I be getting extra when I'm on camera with y'all. And so it just crossed my mind and now I wanna do it. Grandma doing good. She in her room looking at uh, Texas Ranger. Girl. Sound good on huh? I think I'm gonna do it. You was thinking about gravy? I always do it with the gravy. It's pouring down rain. I'm waiting. Listen, it's been looking like it was gonna rain here all day, girl. We ain't got the rain yet, girl. I'm waiting on it. I love meatloaf. I love meatloaf with gravy too. That's what you put on top of yours? What girl? What girl? Let me try. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get a try. I got some of the best barbecue sauce, so I know it ain't got no choice but to be good. Cause this barbecue sauce good on honey. My baby toast child, you better ask my husband child. You. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, this the meatloaf, y'all. Y'all see, it really ain't shrunk. As, like I, like I told you, really wasn't gonna shrink that much. Okay. So, my favorite barbecue sauce, y'all. I'm from I'm from Florida, and this is the spot, Sunny's Barbecue Sauce, y'all. So, I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce to this. And then I'm just going to spread it around on top. Hold on. Who said barbecue sauce is good on meatloaf? What you talking about? Okay, Kiki. Now, Kiki said it's good. Try y'all know Kiki don't like nothing, honey. I'm so, I so better try Kiki like it. The meatloaf on now, let it slide on down the sides. We probably baste this twice. And I'm going to let this here get sticky. You know what? It probably ain't nothing but like a big old meatball. Oh, hold up, y'all. Y'all already know how I like to do. I'm, I'm slipping on my pimpin. Hold up. Okay. So, you know you got to get some sauce all down in there, right? Okay. So, we're going to go ahead on and get these slices going. That way that sauce can fall right. Ooh. 
Y'all know this gonna be. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Look at the juice just coming out of it, y'all. Child, honey. Let's see if it's. <coughs> it's getting there. It ain't all the way, but it's getting there. But it's all right, though. But, y'all. Child. Y'all okay. know I like to do it like this, especially when I be putting that gravy on it. You cut it that way, the gravy can get down in between the slices, y'all. If you didn't do it, now you know. That's what my husband gonna be saying when he tastes this food. Y'all, he on back there, Lord have mercy, Jesus. All right. So now we finna go back on top of here one more time. With a little barbecue sauce. So we can get it down in there. Uh, All right, so we're going to put that back in there, let it finish cooking. I'm going to put it on the bottom rack now, y'all. Because the oven is only on 375, so it ain't going to cook too much more faster. Okay, so y'all know, I told y'all, I ain't really no, really a big fan. Oh, child, I got a little color, though. I was finna tell y'all, but I ain't got to have all that color on my bread, y'all. I really don't. Long as the bread's, bread is done, I'm good. So now I'm going to take some of this hell butter. And go on top of hell. Like that. And then my favorite. I'm going to add some honey right on top as well. Oh, girl, I love you so. Look at that. We're going to put it back in there just for a second. Just for a second. All right. Now let me taste my cabbages to see how done they is. So this is the cabbage jar. You see, it ain't got a lot of water in there. That's that's what you don't want. You don't want all that water. You gonna take a corner piece? All right, you got it. They go to them cabbages. I can tell they done. You see how they have just smothered down and simmerized. <laughs> Wilt it down, y'all. Y'all see how they gonna wilt it down? Right. And get a little taste. Hmm. You see how they still ain't you can tell they not mushy or nothing like that. You don't want them mushy. Meatloaf sandwich tomorrow. You like your meatloaf sandwich, Cole? Chai. Chai. Woo. It's good, 
for y'all. Oh, child, them are finna be good night, honey. I'm so ready, child. Oh, child, I'm so ready for them. You love cabbage, too? Child, I'm about to put me a Coke. <laughs> Can I uh put a Coke Zero in the freezer, please? Okay. <laughs> Child, honey. It needs to go in the freezer, baby. Woo! Child. <laughs> okay. Meat love with a slice of cheese. Chai honey might be a sandwich tomorrow going down. Just might. I never know. I don't know. Because I ain't got plans on cooking tomorrow. Tomorrow's game night, honey. We got to have us some dinner, honey. So I'll be cooking breakfast tomorrow. I ain't going to be cooking with y'all, but I'm cooking breakfast tomorrow. Because, honey, this meal got to stretch uh, throughout tomorrow night. Sure do. You love cabbage like that, not cooked too long, and brown. Right, right. Don't nobody want no, 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 soggy, undercooked, overcooked cabbage. Now y'all see my refrigerator full of my y'all. Honey, it want nothing in there. Woo! Child, this refrigerator was so bad, honey. My husband thought somebody had them came and robbed us or something, child. I'm like, babe, did you take all the groceries with us? No, I cleaned the refrigerator out. That's what I did, sir. I put it down. Thank you, boo. This the, did I show y'all? I don't think. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I showed y'all. Y'all gonna see it in the video on Friday. The video coming Friday. I was finna show y'all this uh this uh this uh sparkling rose. That's what I was about to show y'all. Sparkling rose. Stop saying that. And yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You know I ain't bougie, so I, I can't even say the name of the shit, honey. It's champagne. Okay. <laughs> Come on in, girl. It's unlocked. Come on. Get your bread up. Girl, I don't know why I keep forgetting. <laughs> Running my mouth. I, I must be trying to burn some today. Kiki, I am not joining you today with the burnt garlic bread today. No. The devil is alive. Thank you, sugar. Thank you, honey. I am not joining you today, Kiki. Uh-uh. Ain't nothing getting burnt today, honey. Okay. We done Coke or Pepsi, okay? They go to bread, y'all. Right there. Look at our old scrumptious. All right, so we finna crank this oven back up on 400 for this meatloaf, honey, because ain't nobody got all year to be cooking this meatloaf. I know I don't. And I got my, uh, somebody had asked about this right here. I got my Fabuloso. Hold up. Child, you don't know how to do it, honey. I'm going to show you how to do it, child. This is part of the, uh, cooking, cooking vlog. You're going to get your pot of water. Uh -huh. And you're going to pour you some of that, uh, some of that up in now. Oh, let me show you. You can use the real brand or this one. Both of them smell just about the same. But I got this, that one right there. And pour it in that water, baby. And you better watch it because it will boil over on you. Turn it up so it can start boiling and turn it all the way down. And the smell just go through your house. Everybody got time? Uh, team, team Fabuloso, okay, y'all already know, the paper plate crew, team Fabuloso, honey, we ain't got time for all the plug-ins, plug-ins is getting too expensive, and they run out too fast, and, uh, you might leave the house and forgot it was plugged in or something, you know what I'm saying, just never know what might happen, now, I used to buy them, I ain't knocking nobody that bought them, but honey, they just got too pricey for my pockets, okay, I can't be living outside my pocket size, I'm trying to show y'all how to do it if you didn't know. Man, 
Yeah, y'all playing against me tomorrow. Y'all show is. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'm... I better win tomorrow. I better. Oh, it's going... It's on tomorrow, y'all. Thank you, uh, Rosalinda. How you doing, boo? It's on tomorrow. Show Lils. Hmm. Y'all, what you thought this was? Y'all ain't just gonna keep whooping me for the whole 2021. What y'all thought this was? Exactly, Kiki. Ain't nobody got time. Girl, you smell it. Don't it smell good, girl? <laughs> Have you tried putting shirt cheese and jalapenos on top of your cornbread before you bake it? Uh-uh, child. No. You made me think about that baked cornbread, though. The corn. With the corn in it. Girl, I put the cheese on top of that. It's at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, I, listen, I'm black folks, so I might be a little late. Okay, I know we got some before y'all black folks get in your feelings and be like, uh, hold up, I be on time. Well, I'm on the ones I be late, y'all. So, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. All right, I bet I'm still coming, though. Um, child, we need to, uh, we need to discuss some. You need to eat, you get what? You get six packs of Febreze for $5 and six packs of plug-ins for $4. Girl, we need to discuss something, honey, because you might need to get in the shipping business, okay, and and, and, and send me something, okay? Child, you know they got um what they call it, flat rate shipping. Girl, it's going to fit right in the box, I promise you. <laughs> The Mexican cornbread be everything with jalapenos and cheese. What? Three line, girl. Three line, <laughs> Caitlin. Girl, I'll show her how to do a child. 875 for the box, honey. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> girl, y'all making me want to. I ain't putting these jalapenos and cheese on top of this cornbread now. Where is that at? What? The price, Angela? Or the flat rate at uh what's the name? Oh, speaking of that, I need to see my things off. But yeah, at uh the post office. Oh, we don't even on that. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all was then wanted or something. We don't even own our child. We don't made a one fifty six child. Child, we might as well keep it going to two hundred. Y'all must then want y'all performers or something. Say less than. You put it in. You put it in your cornbread. Yeah, flat rate. I think it's like eight seventy five. Eight. It might be seven seventy five, but. I just put an extra dollar on there to be for sure, you know. But yeah, for the box. Look a kill. <laughs> you better march on, girl. We made it. We made it. We made it to one fifth. Do, do. Oh, we made it. Do. We made it. Do. We made it to one fifth. Do, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to one thing, do, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to one fifty seven. Thank y'all. <laughs> you, what you say, you bake it. Oh, and put it in the, oh, okay. I might try that the, another time. What I'm going to make with that? Something. So y'all eat the Mexican cornbread with everything? Child, don't make me try this, honey. With this, you think it's gonna be good with the honey on top too? <laughs> Do I got some jalapenos? Hold on, y'all. Uh-uh, I ain't got none. I, I can't try it today. Hold on, what you said? Mexican cornbread got jalapenos and cheese, yeah. Not with the honey, okay. 
All right, we ain't gonna try it then. When you make chicken, I never had chicken, and I never had enchiladas, period. I never had an enchilada. You like it kind of crispy and the corn in it. Oh, nah, okay, now nah, I know it's good with the corn now. I'm gonna have to try that, y'all. What's up, MJ, boo? Coming through one time for your sugar, boo. <laughs> Look, Kia. Kia, I was gonna put something right on the little corner of it that I was gonna eat. That's what I was gonna do. Like, Ooh, I wasn't gonna try. You know, I don't like the way. Now, you know your sugar boo. You already should have known. I was not going to put that over that whole piece of uh, cornbread. Uh, over the whole cornbread. You should already know. You miss me? I miss you too, boo. Yes, with pizza beans, the navy beans, it's the best. Oh, okay. So, basically, you just eat it with anything like regular cornbread. I'm gonna have to. What's up, Brosia Boo? Girl, I ain't see you. You just got in here too? I'm talking about for the. Uh, what y'all get? Spring break, ain't it? Something like that. Ain't that spring? Wait. Hold on. What month this is? No, y'all ain't out for spring break yet. Oh, you just came in? Okay. I miss you too, Boo. Y'all. <laughs> Cornbread with honey is great with chili. Oh, I'm gonna have to you I'm gonna have to try that. Marty Mama. Who's Marty Mama? Oh, you saying Katie Mama. Oh, you don't? You don't eat it with soap? Well, how you eat it? So you just eat it with chili. I, I can see it good with chili now. Same like forever. I know. I know. But I you know what? I had to cut back on the on the lives too a little bit, you know, y'all. Cause they be killing you for real. They really do kill you. Uh, they, they don't. They don't help you for real like that. They don't. Uh, maybe sometimes, but mm -mm. but yeah. So I once I, let me say this. I thank y'all. I thank all of y'all for watching my pre-recorded videos. Y'all been doing y'all thing on the pre-recorded videos. I got to say that now. So I thank y'all for watching them all the way through. Cause it tell me that too. So I thank y'all for watching them all the way through to the end. I thank y'all for uh, ringing the doorbell because y'all been doing that too. And I thank y'all for getting them views on up where they need to be at, honey. I just appreciate each and every last one of y'all that watch my videos and watch them to the end. And the ones that just stop by for a few minutes if you have, if you, if, you know, when you can and stuff like that. And for the ones that come and watch them late. I thank y'all for uh, coming and watch the video. Either way, I don't care if y'all don't watch them the same day, the next day, however. I thank y'all for coming to watch them. Either way. All right. Appreciate y'all. So, this mean loaf need to hurry up, honey, because my mouth is watering, child, honey. I'm already smacking and I ain't ate nothing yet. I'm glad y'all do. Sorry, man, Katie. Oh, okay. All right, so I made some more grease. I'm finna dump this grease off in there. I love y'all, too. I'm finna dump this oil off. Try to smell good. Try. Try. 
Sasha. I think it's going to run the hot water real quick for a minute. So that we can um, Okay. Good night, Angela. Thank you for being here, boo. I'm just finna show you the meatloaf. Hold on, child. Hold up. Let me show you the meatloaf before you go. Y'all look at that meatloaf. Ooh. It look good, don't it? Honey, thicker that is, baby. You only need one slice. You already know, Brosia. Brosia, you already know. That's the best That's the best part about me, though. You know, that is the best part about me. It's either you gonna like me or you, gonna, or, or you ain't gonna like me. Ain't no in-between. It's gonna be one. You gonna have to take a pick. One way or the other. Ain't no in-between because I'm not an in-between type person. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Let me show you. <laughs> Here go the cornbread. Here go the wild rice. right there and then here is my cabbages right there y'all and this is our wednesday dinner i'm not leaving till you feed me <laughs> girl don't go nowhere okay Okay, Miss Bev, you already know, honey. I'm finna fix grandma plate and I'm finna get in here and get me a shower. I'm gonna let grandma taste it for y'all. How about that? So y'all can see grandma. I'm gonna let grandma taste for y'all because, baby, when I eat, see, y'all don't even want to taste because when I eat, oh, it's finna be a done daughter. You know, I'm finna put me, I'm finna go get me a good bath, okay? And I'm finna get in here and, and turn me a movie on, maybe a YouTube video part of that bone Sunday, because I'm finna be smacking and eating with fingers and everything today, okay? You best to know, honey, it's finna go down in just a minute. Oh, about, a, about an hour. Give me time to take a bath and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm finna fix grandma plate so y'all can see. So here go y'all plate to go in the plate because I love you. Okay, you better share today with your children. All right. Paper plate gang. Hey, paper plate. Paper plate gang. Hey, paper plate gang. Hey, one time for the paper plate crew. If you're part of the paper plate crew, put a paper plate up for you. Because this is your plate for my, my plate for you because you my boo. One time for the paper plate crew. Two times for the paper plate crew. Three times for the paper plate crew. Mess it up cause you with the paper plate crew. Mess it up cause you with the paper plate crew. Mess it up cause you with the paper, paper plate crew. Dang, it's the time. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm through mess with y'all. Okay, so. Put my butter knife. And I'm finna get up out of here. I ain't fooling with y'all. I love y'all. I thank y'all for being here. I enjoyed y'all. It was a long time coming for a cooking vlog, though, for real. Especially one like this. Child, ain't nobody got time. Okay. Gonna let grandma taste it. Oh, you ain't gotta worry about that. I told you it's gonna be green. You can take that to the bank. 
Y'all know Bay ain't gonna eat yet right now, so I ain't gonna fix this plate. That's why y'all ain't in three plates today. And I'm not finna eat right now because I'm finna go take me a bath. Show Leos. <clears throat> take a picture of this honey it's this pack of plate gonna get a picture today show lives I can't even get the barbecue sauce just sliding off the thing okay let me take a picture real quick and then I don't be trying to steal I saw you Tika hey Miss Miss uh Miss Gloria too. Hold up, let me get the picture. So I can have a picture for this real quick. Hey, mama. Oh, child, honey, it don't look like a meal on a paper plate. You hear me? Okay. <clears throat> Here y'all go. Do the corn with the corn piece get extra butter? I don't know. Here y'all go. Dig in. Dig in. You got your fall? You gotta go and get your boy. And I, oh, look at that bread, y'all. Oh, child. It's just the right thickness for you. Oh, look at that wild rice. Look at that piece of bacon right there, child. Look at that bacon. Child, you wanna come through bacon? Child. All right, y'all. So let's go in here. With, oh, somebody said meatloaf one more time. I heard you. There you go. Mm hmm. Yeah, look good, don't it? Mm -hmm. I know, child. Thank you, both. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go on here with Grandma. Child, get Grandma a spoon, y'all, because Grandma do not eat with nobody, folks, honey. Grandma don't want no folk. Grandma, um, Grandma say, uh, the food keep falling off the fork for her. She need a spoon. Okay, we are gonna go on in here with Grandma. Hold on, I'll come back for her soda. Matter of fact, I'm too lazy, child. Let me just, honey, I'm ready to relax now, y'all, for real. Sorry, I might be making y'all dizzy. Hey, Go on here. Grandma, you ready to eat sugar? Grandma say, show Lil's. <laughs> Grandma say I done took my sugar and everything, honey. I'm ready. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this off real quick. You're not disappointed, are you? Well, pull your table, clean your table off. One time for the one time for the one or one or one time. <laughs> Gonna let grandma be the judge of this. Y'all know grandma about like baby. Grandma don't lie. Mm -mm. Okay, grandma, I cooked some meatloaf, mm -hmm. some wild rice, cornbread, and cabbage. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That good. You had barbecue meatloaf before? Barbecue. Yeah. Pour the table to you. Hold on, y'all. Then I'm gonna 
you know you got to try it for them. That's why we in here. They want to they wanna know what it tastes like, Grandma. Mm. They want to know what it tastes like. <clears throat> oh. Pull it to you. There. Your shoe or something. Stop. Is it? It's rocking. Your shoe right there. Okay. Ooh, that look good. Hold up. Oh. Child got me licking my fingers. Child, a little sauce got on it. <laughs> a little sauce got on our child. Come on, Grandma. Tell them what it tastes like. Grandma ain't even said grace, honey. Grace, amen. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, they all say hey, grandma. Tell them hey, hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Go on, tell them I'll what to say. I am hungry. There you go, your soda. The cabin was good. Mm hmm. Nira, delicious. Mm hmm. Tell them about the meatloaf. They, okay. want, they want to know about that meatloaf. Cornbread. Ooh, it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't never had no meat. I ain't never had no meatloaf like that before. You ever had that? Mm. No? It tastes good with the barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Which one you prefer? The barbecue, the ketchup, or the gravy? And let them know. I want, uh, I'd rather have the barbecue. Really? Ah, grandma told y'all so grandma say the barbecue tastes and she love gravy okay but she said the barbecue tastes better than the gravy so i love y'all i enjoyed y'all peace love and many many blessings to each and every one of y'all we almost to uh 200 uh thumbs up y'all uh keep it going okay rain adobe is what i like to call it what's up urban culture boo ain't nothing child so, um, you coming for your play? Come on, girl. Come on. Grandma knows best. You better know it. Mm -hmm. Grandma happy. They say, Grandma happy. They say, yes, thumbs up, Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma is speechless. Loving the bar barbecue. Yes. All right, y'all. So, I love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. I will see y'all tomorrow night for game night at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Be there or be square. Okay. And get your behind toe up because it's going down tomorrow. You better know it. Love y'all. Peace. Grandma, you going to tell them you love them? I love you. I thought I had dropped my knee. <laughs> <laughs>